Hello. Good night, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi, Margarita. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi. Hello. Bye. Hello. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so we're going to start with today's class, right? Hello, everyone. Sonia, Regina, Luis. Buenas noches a todos. A todos y todas. So we're going to start the class, right? Uh, if you don't have any technical questions, ¿tienen alguna pregunta técnica? ¿Alguno de ustedes? Hola, hola. Eh, me estuvo diciendo el chico de administración antes de que comencemos que se iba a comunicar con ustedes. Se comunicó con ustedes, Claudia, eh, Mario. ¿No? Sí, sí, sí se comunicó, sí. teacher. Sí. Sí, ya están en el grupo de WhatsApp entonces. Ya, ya. Ok, perfect, 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 perfect. Entonces ya se comunicó. We're going to start with the class, right? We're going to work today with uh, be going to. Right? We're going to continue working with uh, be going to. And yesterday we were working with positives and negative forms of be going to, right? Now, what is the positive for the positive form of be going to with the positive form? What is the formula that we practiced yesterday? There is a formula we have when we're going to write be going to, cuando vamos a escribir be going to, cuando vamos a hacer oraciones, we need to have a formula. What is the formula? Is Sub subject. subject. Subject plus. Verb to be. Verb to be plus. Verb to be going, going to. Going to. Be going, okay, plus going to plus. Verb. Plus verb plus. Complement. Plus complement. complement. Okay, very good. That's the correct answer. So we have subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Very good. So we also practice the negative form, right? With the negative form. What is the formula for the negative form, Claudia? Um, subject, uh huh. Subject. Uh, verb to be. Verb to be. Uh -huh. Not. Plus not. Uh -huh. Going to. Going to. Plus verb. Plus verb. Plus complement. Plus complement. Okay. Plus complement. Very good. So yesterday we were working with this part, right? So can you give me an example, uh, Susan? of the positive form of be going to? De los ejemplos que escribieron, from the examples that you write, that, that, that you wrote on the platform, right? Pueden leerme algunos. Susan, let's start. Positive form. Okay. Susan is not there. Let's see Jorge. Jorge Ortiz. Uh, we are going to go to the gym next month. Okay. We're going to go to the gym next month. Sí, primero Dios. Ya, ya basta. Okay. We're going to go to the gym next month. Okay, very good. Tell me another example, Alejandro Rosales. Positive form. Alejandro? No? Estela? Um, I going I going to cook a special food on Saturday for my husband. Okay, very good. Okay, I am going to cook to cook a special food on Saturday for my husband. On Saturday for my husband. Very good. 
So can you repeat your example, Jorge, please? Jorge, can you repeat your we example? Are, mm -hmm. We are going to go to the gym next month. To the gym next month. Very good. Okay, perfect. Now I need a negative example with a negative form. William. Okay, my parents are my not parents. going uh -huh. are not going to work this week. To work this week. Very good. My parents are not going to work this week. Very good. My parents are not going to work this week. Very good. Uh, let's see another person. Negative form. Felix. 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 No? Ah. Wake up. Despertemos. Okay, wake up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so in my daughter is negative bird. Yes. My daughter. My daughter, my daughter is going not a kinder. Okay. It's not going? It's going it's going. Is going not no sería is no it's not going verdad it's not going to the kinder okay what is missing here Felix remember the formula subject plus verb to be plus not plus going to plus verb so what are we missing here? We're missing the verb. Nos falta un verbo. My daughter is not going to the kinder. Mm -hmm. It's not going to go. Going to go. Okay, going to, going to go. Porque si podemos study, hmm, you need to study the whole kinder. Vamos a estudiar todo el kinder. Mm -mm. Right? No podemos decir eso porque si no se confundiría. Como que fuera a ser especialista en kinders. Right? Okay. So we say, my daughter is not going to go, right, to the kinder, right, or to school, right, next weekend. Very good. So these are positive and negative forms. Esto fue lo que hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? This is what we did yesterday. So this is pretty easy. Es bien fácil esa ayer a ustedes. So for this, Today, we are going to learn, right, how to say the negative form. These are complete forms. Estas son formas completas en negativo. Pero en inglés, existe otra forma. There is another way you're going to say these two, but right now they are complete, right? I need you to make them shorter, right? And it's very easy, right? You take a look at these two examples, right? In the negative form, we're going to put them here. And what we're going to do here, we we'll say my parents are not going to work this weekend. So we have one way to say my parents aren't going to work this week right that is one way look at this we have full form are not and then short form aren't right tenemos la forma completa y la forma corta but we have another way tenemos otra forma de decirlo right the other way that we're going to do is that we're going to change my parents to a subject pronoun, right? What is the subject pronoun for my parents? If we have I, you, we, they, she, he, what is my parents? My parents is she? No. 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 It's, they. It's, they. it's they. It's they. Very good. It's they. Very good. So we have they. With this they, right, we're going to make it shorter. 
But look at this. They are not going to, to work this, oops, this week, right? Look at this other way. Esta es la otra forma de hacerlo contractado, pero la diferencia es que ya lo cambiamos a subject pronoun, right? And you say, Silvia, is this correct? Yes. And my parents is correct? Yes. Both ways are correct. Las dos formas son correctas. Both ways are correct. When we say aren't or are not, right? Okay. Preguntas hasta el momento? Preguntas? No? Yes? En el momento de pronunciación, la contracción okay. toma la forma correcta. Very good, Fernando. That, I, I was about to cover that. Look at this. When we say in, the, in this part, we say are, not, right? But in the short form, la mayoría dice aren't, right? But it's not correct. Aren't, mm -mm. that is not correct. Porque decimos aren't. Lo que vamos a hacer es que esta letra, this letter E, we are going to uh, delete the letter E. Pero no la vamos a quitar en realidad, sino que la vamos a quitar solo de la pronunciación. Okay? So we're going to make sure that we say aren't. Right? Entonces no pronunciamos esa letra. My parents aren't going to work. And in this part here, they are not going to work. They are not going to work. Tampoco la pronunciamos. Entonces, esta letra está así como, como el meme. ¿verdad? Está, pero no está. Right? Está en la escritura, pero no está en la pronunciación. They are. They are not. Very good. Very good. So, my parents aren't going to work. And they are not going to work this weekend. Okay? Is it clear, Fernando? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now... Give me a second. I need, do you have any other questions? No? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, cuando usamos, eh, en el caso del subject, cuando usamos eh, esa fórmula, porque en las anteriores sabemos que estamos hablando de nuestros padres, pero la, la tercera forma ya no, ya no dice parents. Entonces, ¿cuándo la podemos utilizar? Very good. That question or you're going to use that uh, they, right? For example, when you're mentioning this, for example, vamos a hacer como un párrafo. Tenemos un párrafo acá y tenemos en el párrafo, let's make it smaller, okay. My parents aren't, aren't going to work this weekend. They are, for example, we're going to use they, right? Para, uh, para evitar la repetición, right? Entonces, para evitar la repetición, it says, my parents aren't going to work this weekend. They are not going to, for example, they are not going to wake up early. Como no van a trabajar, no, se, no van a levantar temprano. Eh? So, they are not going to wake up early this week. Estamos siempre hablando de la misma persona. Quiere decir que lo, lo podemos utilizar así, que sabemos a qué se refiere, siempre y cuando te, estemos hablando de la misma persona, como en un párrafo, o estemos describiendo, por ejemplo, algo, que digamos, Claudia is, Claudia isn't uh, going to work this week. She's, she's not, um, she's not, feeling well today, right? She's sick. Entonces ya no tenemos que repetir Claudia, sino que ten, podemos usar un subject pronoun para evitar esa, esa repetición. Porque si decimos, my parents, my parents, my parents, and al final terminamos aburridos. Okay? So is it clear? Yes? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, very good. I like the questions, very good. Preguntemos. Teacher, si teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. Yes? Is correct use uh, my parents 
en vez de usar my parents, también podemos ocupar us. US. Uh, like this. Like that? Yes. Yes. Mm, but this, this, us, it means, for example, you, Claudia, and I. Eso le incluye a usted. Entonces, no, no, se, no lo puedo utilizar. Porque us va para, viene del pronoun we, nosotros. 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 So, we are not going to work this weekend. Right? Entonces, no lo podemos utilizar. Ese es el, el object pronoun de estos dos van juntos. Entonces, no podría utilizarlo. Porque cuando Creo usted dice... Solo... ¿Sí? Quizá me equivoqué, eh, me confundí si sí, sería correcto el we, pero mm -hmm. se podría ocupar de esa forma, as, en vez de we. No, no. No, you cannot use it. Porque we es, aquí estamos hablando del sujeto de la oración. And as is the object. Es el objeto de la oración. Entonces estamos hablando ahorita de la posición del sujeto. ¿Quién es el sujeto de la oración? ¿En quién recae la acción de la oración en este caso? Entonces, ah, si usted okay. tiene as, eh, no, es, no, no lo va a utilizar. No podemos utilizar as como un sujeto, sino que como objeto. Ah, ok. 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 You're welcome. Y después vamos a ver esa parte de, lo, de los sujetos y objetos en la oración. Ok. No se me preocupe. Right. So, if I have, do you have another question? Antes que continuemos. Any questions? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so let's see here. Mm -hmm. Samuel. Samuel Villalta, are you there? Uh, my daughter is not going to go to the kinder. Okay, very good. So Samuel, can you make the example like this here with my daughter? My daughter. My daughter. Uh, what is the short form? Isn't. Thank you, Stella. My daughter isn't. Right? Isn't. Isn't going, going to go to the kinder. The kinder. Very good. So, Samuel, give me the other example. What is my daughter? Uh, my father. No, with the same example. Sigamos el mismo ejemplo. Para que no nos perdamos. My daughter. Mm -hmm. My daughter. Okay. Uh, Samuel, you need to change my daughter to a subject pronoun. In the subject pronouns, we have I, you, she, he, it, we, they. What is my daughter? What? Um, she. Okay, it's she. Very good. She. She what? How can you make this construction? She's. She's okay. She's not. She's not going to go to the kinder. Okay. Very good. Mama, where I want to now? Okay. Very good. So you see. With the same examples that we have, we can start constructing more sentences, right? We start creating more sentences, right? So we need to pay attention to this. Now, with this, with these sentences, we're going to also work examples with questions, right? But first, first, we are going to practice. Antes de las preguntas, vamos a practicar. Vamos a trabajar con las oraciones que ya crearon. With the sentences that you already uh, have. You have on the platform, you put those sentences, right? Positive and negative. Las pusieron todos. So, we're going to work in groups and you're going to do the same thing. Lo mismo que acabamos de hacer con las oraciones. No las podemos hacer todas porque no tenemos mucho tiempo. Pero, por ejemplo, digamos, Margarita, Josué, and uh, bodies are working together, they are going to create more sentences, right? But right now you have the complete form. In the group, 
you are going to make the short form. En los grupos, ya tienen ustedes, ya traen de su casa la forma completa. Are not, is not, perfect. Lo que quiero que trabajen en el grupo es la forma que va a ser más, eh, la forma corta, la forma reducida. ¿Es that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, you already have the, you already have yes. the, the sentences. Ya tienen las, uh, las oraciones ejemplo. Solo tienen que hacer lo mismo que acabamos de hacer para practicar the short form. Para ver si nos acordamos. So, let's start. We're going to work in groups. Les voy a mandar ahorita la invitación. Cuando ya les mande la invitación, por favor, denle aceptar rapidito y así nos vamos a trabajar cinco minutos y antes de las nueve y media ya estamos de regreso. ¿Ok? Good. Good, teacher. Good, good. Ok, perfect. Let's join the rooms, please. Ok, let's join the groups. Travel to Madrid. Next, my mother and me are in going to travel to Madrid. The, the, la última, la, the last one. Uh -huh. The last one is like, we mm -hmm. are in, no, we, we're, we're, we are, uh -huh. we are, we are not going to travel to Madrid. Very good, Jorge. Okay. Very good. Sigan trabajando así, por favor. Keep working like this. Ok. Sigan trabajando los demás. Ok. Very good. Ok. okay. Are we working here? Are we practicing? Okay. Mario? Sona? Dennis? I didn't understand. Okay. I didn't understand. Ok, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Ya tienen las oraciones que, que escribieron en la plataforma, ¿correcto? Las yes. oraciones negativas. Perfect. So, what you're going to do is that you're going to... You are going to make the sentences, right? You're going to make them in the short form. Ya les tienen las oraciones en la forma larga, are not, y ahora vamos a hacer aren't, right? Por ejemplo, si tengo Mario is going to, is not going to write his homework, right? So I'm going to say Mario isn't going to write his homework or his, is not going to write his homework. Vamos a tratar de dar las otras dos posibilidades para dar la forma negativa, pero en la forma corta, porque la practicamos en forma larga, ¿ok? Teacher. De las tres sí. formas lo vamos a hacer. Exacto, pero ya las tienen, ya tienen una, entonces solo van a practicar dos. ¿Sí, Sonia? Eh, they aren't not going to, going to the world. Eh, no, como ya dijo aren't, ya no tiene por qué ponerle not, porque ya va ahí. Um, ah, uh -huh. so mm. Sonia isn't, uh -huh, or Mario and Sonia aren't going aren't. to go to the beach. Uh -huh. Aren't. Ya no tienen que utilizar not porque ya lo tienen aren't. Mm, ya está en okay. negativo. Yes. Mm, okay. Do you have more questions? Mario, good? Yes, good. 
Ok, perfect. Te voy a dejar un ratito, voy al otro grupo. Days. Uh, Adela is going to watch a movie after this English class. Uh, she is going. She's going to watch a movie after this English class. Sí, considero yes. que sí. En, en lo negativo sería Ad, Adelaida is isn't going to watch a movie after this English class. Very good. That's correct. That's correct. Una una consulta. Mm -hmm. Teacher, eh, si queremos, cómo podríamos hacer más abreviada esta frase. Adelaida. Adelaida, en vez de is, podríamos utilizar otro otro tu, otro verbo. Otro, no. To be. No. You already have Adelaida, so you're going to change it to she. She. Yeah. Oh. She's she's going to watch a movie after this class. She's okay. going to, she's going to. Pero el verbo to be tiene que estar en esa oración, porque estamos hablando de futuro. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I yes. can contract she's. Yes, she's. You can contract that form too. Okay. She's. Mm -hmm. En vez de decir she, she is going, so she is. Decimos, she's, she's going. Exactly. She's, she's going, going to watch movie after this. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Y, por ejemplo, si lo queremos pasar a modo negativo, sería She isn't going to watch a movie after this English class. Yes, correct. Perfect. Perfect. That's, that's correct. Good. ¿Qué me va a decir usted, Fernanda? No, es que es más difícil que está la pronunciación con el contract. Yes, it is. It is a little bit difficult, but you have to practice. Okay? Okay. The more you practice, ya va a ver, se va a hacer más fácil. Ok. Lo voy a dejar un ratito, voy a trabajar con el otro grupo. Y ya vamos a terminar en dos minutos. Ok. So keep practicing. Ok. 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 Entonces la forma corta sería Very good, Estela. Very good. That's perfect. Veo que están trabajando bien, entonces lo voy a dejar un ratito. Ya vamos a terminar en un minuto. ¿Ok? Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Sigan trabajando. Great job. Okay. Karen is going to going to work mm. me faltó algo ahí verdad el complemento work, el complemento uh -huh. work como puedo poner eh, Karen trabajará Cinco días. ¿Ah? Five, five days. De noche. At night. Así se ve. Karen is going. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Going to work. Karen is going to work. Five, five days. days? At, night. At night. At night. Okay. Very good. At night. Very good. <laughs> Estamos bien, entonces lo dejo un ratito. Ya vamos a terminar. You're welcome. Okay. Hi, Regina.
How was the practice? Was it good? It's was it really bad? Good. Really good? Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We're going to continue working here. Yesterday, we just watched like half of the video, la mitad del video, para ver las preguntas. Entonces, vamos a verlo rapidito, pero antes de verlo, solo quiero que vean prácticamente qué fácil es hacer or to create questions, right, with going to. It's very, very easy, right? So, I'm going to show you here. We're going to create yes or no questions. That's what we're going to do, right? So I need you to pay attention. Y van a ver que pensamos que las cosas son bien. Ah, they are very, very difficult, but they are not, right? So we have here, I'm going to show you here on the, t on the, on the computer. I don't know why I always say TV, I don't know. No me hagan caso, siempre digo TV. Okay, can you see my, my screen? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's right. Okay, so on the, on the computer, right, on the screen. Here, here, one second, okay. Here we have a sentence, right? In the positive form, right? Gabby and Manuel are going to play soccer Sunday afternoon, right? So we want to make this a question, right? To make a question with be going to, what we need to have first is the verb be, right? And then we need to have the subject, right? After the subject, we need to have going to plus the verb plus the complement. Okay? And one important thing at the end is the question mark. Right? This is called question mark. This is very important. Si se les olvida el question mark o el signo de puntuación, no es una pregunta y solo es una oración que está mal escrita. Okay? So we need to be very careful with that. So we need to have verb be plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. So if you can see here, right, in this sentence, Gabby and Manuel are going to play soccer Sunday afternoon, which is the verb be? Are. Are, very good. So we have are. What is the subject of that sentence? Gabby and Manuel are going to play soccer Sunday afternoon. What is the subject? Gabby and Manuel. Gabby and Manuel, very good. Gabby and Manuel. Or someone said over there, you can say they, right? Gabby and Manuel, or you can say they. Cualquiera estaría bien. Are Gabby and Manuel going, going to, to, going to what? Play. Going to play. 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 play soccer. Play soccer. Soccer. Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon. afternoon. Very good. Is this correct? Yes. yes. Uh, no, Sign. falta el um, signo. Signo. Very good. We're missing question mark. Very good. Question mark. Question mm. mark. Okay. Very good. The question mark is here. So we have a. We have a perfect question with going to. This question is called yes, no question. Así se llama, yes, no questions. Right? Vamos a poner aquí, mismo. yes, no questions. And short answers. ¿Por qué se llaman yes, no questions? Porque usted puede, correr, puede contestar solo con yes or, no. o solo con not. Very good. So, are Gabby and Manuel going to play soccer Sunday afternoon? Positive? Yes. yes. No, yes. it's quarantine. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yes, they are. Todos queremos jugar. Yes, they are. Right? And what would be the negative form? No, they are. No, they, are. Are. they are. No, they, they are. aren't. They aren't. Very good. They aren't. 
Very good. So we have here, look, very easy way. What are we going to do here? Como ya son, ya es una short answer, we need to have a short answer here with the constructive form. So we are not going to say are not. Mm -mm. We're going to say always aren't. Right? No, they aren't. Y si ven, ya no utilizamos Gaby y Manuel, ya utilizamos they. Right? Are we clear with that? Aunque, sí. en la, aunque en la pregunta utilicemos el nombre completo, por ejemplo, are my parents going to work this week? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Right? So it's going to be the same. Si tuviéramos, is Ernesto going to uh, buy food tomorrow? Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't. Right? So we need to be very sure that we need to make sure that we change this for the correct subject pronoun, right? Entonces, si ven lo bonito de acá, de las preguntas, is that you just have to change the position of this. Look, we have Gabi and Manuel, and then we have the subject that is going to change. And then we have R, it goes to the beginning. Prácticamente, así se ponen como los x se traslapa, right? Uh -huh. Se traslapa. Eso es lo único. Y la, la otra cosa que no se les puede olvidar is that at the end, you need to have the question mark, right? Si se fijan, ese es el gran truco. Pasamos el verbo to be al inicio y luego ponemos uh -huh. el subject después. El resto de la oración... Si se fijan, queda exactamente igual. Right? Okay. Todo eso aquí queda igual, ¿sí? Y al inicio no lleva question mark. No. That is only in Spanish. Very good, Vanny. That's okay. a very good question. Only in Spanish we have like this, right? That would be in Spanish. But in English, we only have a question mark at the end. Aquí, al final. Eso es bien importante. Gracias por preguntar. Porque en inglés... No utilizamos. Right. Solo al final lo vamos a usar. Entonces, aún si es de, el, el signo de admiración, right? we're going to use it only at the end. No utilizamos al inicio. ¿Es that clear? Yes, yes. Ok, very good. So, if you see, we only have a few changes. So, we just make the change. Cambiamos la posición de la the el orden original que tenemos de la oración subject verb going to plus verb plus complement we just made the change and that's it si ven que fácil es es gramática mm. yes yes pretty yes, easy pretty easy yes, no es easy. easy peasy very good easy peasy easy peasy <laughs> it's not difficult right so if it's not difficult right we're going to work right now and I'm going to show you here the end of the video. Ahora ya el video ya lo vamos a entender mucho más. Va a ser más fácil, lo vamos a terminar de ver. Y vamos a escribir nuestros propios ejemplos. Pongamos atención al video. Pay attention to the video right, that we're going to watch. Teacher, you can yes? ask microphones. Please. Yes, please. Siempre, siempre tengamos los micrófonos. Si no estamos participando, hay que dejarlos en mute, todos. Si no, okay. para, para evitar sonidos y que, que nos interfieran. Eso siempre es bien importante. Yo les puedo poner mute a todos, pero debería de ser una, una, un, algo que tenemos que estar pendientes, porque si yo les pongo mute, ustedes van a querer hablar y no van, no van a poder. ¿Ok? So, are we ready to watch the video? Yes, yes, teacher. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very yes, good. Teacher. Okay. Como siempre, le voy a preguntar si le escucha, si está todo bien, y si no me lo escuchan, me avisa. Vamos a poner los primeros segunditos. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn how to ask. Can you listen? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. Yes, Very good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let me make sure, because yesterday we practiced the, 
we practice the conversation. So we don't want the conversation. Okay, there we are. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invites. Finally, we add a compliment, all my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement, anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you and a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay. So, was the video easy to understand now? Yes? ¿Lo entendimos mejor el video? ¿Un poquito mejor? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Very good. So, yes. we have we have a couple of minutes. We have a couple of minutes more to practice with your own examples. Vamos a trabajar siempre con los ejemplos que ustedes ya crearon. Ustedes ya traen los ejemplos que crearon en la plataforma. Con esos mismos ejemplos, vamos a hacer las preguntas. Right? Because you have positive and negatives. So we're going to make, we're going to use the positive uh, sentences that you have, and you're going to create those sentences into questions. 
right? No se duerma, Jose. We're going to create those sentences into questions and then we're going to give yes and no answers, right? So we're going to start right now. Siempre nos vamos a ir a los grupos, vamos a practicar con los demás. Pero, por ejemplo, si Karen está trabajando con William y con Mario, cada uno va a aportar sus propias preguntas con base en los ejemplos que ya tienen. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Ok, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, perfect. Yes, so we're going to work right now. Give me a second. We're going to work with these groups. Just let me, I think we're going to change some of you. Lo vamos a dejar así como ya estaba, para que sientan cómodos este día. Let's see. Vamos, vamos. Join the groups, please. Okay, very good. Okay, click, click, click. Very nice. Let's see. Samuel, join the group. Luis, please join the group. Luis, are you there? Luis? Luis, are you there? Okay, good. Let's go. Are we practicing? Yes. Okay, good. Can I listen to your examples? Puedo escuchar sus ejemplos? Can I listen okay, to your me... examples? Ah, lo está creando todavía. Okay. No, ahorita eh... lo estoy creando. <laughs> Vaya, mi, mi... Mis ejemplos son estos. Are they going to go to the gyms next month? Mm -hmm. eh, second is, are they going to travel to Madrid? Uh -huh. And what is the answer for that, Jorge? Short answers. Eh, eh, yes, yes, they are. Uh -huh. eh, no, no, they aren't. Wonderful. Correct. That's correct. Jorge, please help Felix and Patty to finish the activity. Okay? Very okay. good. Terminen, okay. sigan, y yo sigo revisando los otros grupos. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. After nine. Entonces, sería... Sería, is going, espera, a ver, no, sería, is he going to watch TV after night? Entonces la respuesta sería, eh, eh, yes, he is, eh, eh, not he is. No, he is and perfect, Jose. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Let's just practice after, after, after night. Dígalo así con propiedad, after. after. Okay. After, okay, very good, perfect. Sigan trabajando, keep working, okay? Thank okay. you. You're welcome, sigan trabajando. Margarita, why are you alone? ¿Estás sola? Sí, me quedé sola. <laughs> I'm very sorry. No sé por qué, pero usted ya tenía compañero para trabajar. La voy a asignar a otro, a otro grupo, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Mire. Ok, ahorita. You're in group number seven. Let me see. Ok. 
I'm going to send you with other people. Go. Ah, ok. De, yo, entonces estábamos en el ejemplo de um, el no going to the church that's next month. Entonces ahí sería. I, I'm going to the church next month. Correcto. Ahora el question. Es, am I not going? No, eso este sería, am, am I, ¿verdad? Going. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going. going. I, I'm going. Pues, am I going to the church next month? Very good. That's good. Am I going to the church next month? Very good. Recuérdense que estamos utilizando las oraciones positivas que hicieron, positive sentences, and we're using them to create the questions. Okay? So, okay, teacher. Very good. Very good. Continue. Samuel, Alejandro, very good. Continue working. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, hi, hello. Hi, hi. Saben que se me había olvidado comentarles que cuando hacemos los grupos son alrededor de ocho o nueve grupos que se crean. Entonces no puedo ir a todos los grupos en el momento que practicamos, ¿verdad? Entonces no crean que dejo olvidadas a los grupos. Los grupos que no visité en la primera ronda son los que visité en esta segunda ronda. ¿Ok? Y, los que, y así sucesivamente. Entonces, no crean que los olvido. Por ejemplo, en ese, esa vez no visité a Claudia, que estaba con William en la anterior, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que no se te... Uy, se olvidó y ya no, ya no vino, ¿verdad? Se me había olvidado hacerles ese comentario, pero para que no piensen que, que me olvido de usted. ¿Ok? Ok. Entonces, porque son como 30 mil... No, son nueve grupos que faltan. <risa> entonces, hay que verlos a todos y entonces hay que turnarlos. ¿Right? Okay, so we are about to finish, right? So after this practice, I need, we have two things that we're going to do. Ahora, ayer y hoy trabajamos gramática, vamos a seguir mañana también con más. Pero tenemos que trabajar otras skills, otras, o, otras habilidades que tenemos que desarrollar. Entonces para eso, nos vamos a ir al, a, la, uh, a la plataforma. Entonces, no lo vamos a trabajar hoy, pero es algo que tienen que trabajar ustedes eh, mañana. En la plataforma, eh, there is one practice that is called knowledge check, right? Uh, can you please read this part, Mario? Instructions. Mario? Mario? Josué, are you there? Está, está borroso, no lo puedo leer. Oh, ok. Josué, can you read this? Sí. Ok, yes. Go. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Instructions. No, 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 no. Listen to the interview. What are these people going to do? Ok, very good. What are these people going to do? Esta, esta actividad... Es evaluación. Es knowledge check y dice aquí 33%. ¿Ok? Que es su nota final. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos, the conversation is about this interviewer. This is the interviewer. And he's interviewing Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jane. So he's going to ask them what they are going to do. Right? So you are going to click here. In the audio, you're going to click here. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking. Okay, did you listen to the audio? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. 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 Entonces está bien el, el audio ahí. ¿Qué van a hacer en su casa? Lo van a escuchar el audio, pero vamos a hacer algo. No lo vamos a escuchar una vez y vamos a contestar. No. 
Lo que necesito que hagan es que practiquen. You're going to practice, practice, practice. Vamos a escuchar el audio la primera vez sin hacer nada. Vamos a tratar de entender lo que dice el audio. No lo vamos a entender al 100%, so don't worry, ¿ok? We're going to practice and we're going to see some, some words, algunas palabras. Entonces lo vamos a escuchar una vez, dos veces, tres veces, las veces que sean necesarias para que nosotros podamos responder a esas preguntas. Por ejemplo, es Michelle is going to, y tenemos varias opciones, le damos clic a una opción, y cuando tenemos a la opción que le queremos responder, ya hemos respondido las cuatro preguntas, four questions, vamos a dar clic en Submit. ¿okay? A ustedes no les va a aparecer el botón de Show Answers, solo a mí. Ustedes tienen que submit y de ahí le, le va a aparecer la respuesta. Ustedes lo van a escuchar las veces que sea necesario para poder responder. If you do that, we're going to practice listening. Vamos a estar practicando ex, eh, comprensión auditiva del inglés. Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. No lo vamos a hacer a la carrera porque es una de las habilidades que cuesta bastante en inglés. La segunda habilidad que vamos a practicar es esta. Es decir, lesson objective. Uh, Claudia, can you read this part? Okay. By the end of the class, you will hear how to song mm -hmm. natural we talking about putting the plan by es, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Reducing. 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 Um, no veo ya. Going to. Going okay. To. Going to. Very good. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Uh, hasta el momento hemos practicado going to como la forma completa. Pero para escribir está bien. Así tiene que ser. Pero en esta vez vamos a practicar speaking. En pronunciation. Como dijo Claudia, vamos a practicar que nuestro inglés suene más natural. Entonces, este video se trata acerca de pronunciar going to, solo esta parte como gonna, right? Entonces, Silvia is gonna go to sleep after the class. Silvia is going to go to sleep after class, right? Entonces, eso es lo que quiero que practiquen. Con las oraciones que ustedes ya crearon, van a ir cambiando la pronunciación de going to a gonna. Okay, pero primero tienen que ver el video. Entonces, para mañana tienen dos, dos prácticamente dos tareas, digámoslo tareas, pero no tareas, dos prácticas que hacer. Listening and speaking. Right? No van a escribir nada porque ya tienen cómo van a practicar. Right? So, you, you're going to practice listening and speaking. Recuérdense que el listening es bien importante porque es evaluación. Right? This is practice. Entonces, para la evaluación tiene que estar terminada. Sí, sí, yes? Yes, go ahead. Eh, ¿Cuál, es, ¿Cuál es su pregunta? El, el going to y el gonna. Uh -huh. eh, el gonna que no es para una forma formal. No. Eh, much, no. Tenemos un problema en inglés que a veces uno decimos que es formal e informal. Y no, de hecho se dice en inglés que uno es prescriptivo y el otro es descriptivo. El prescriptivo so, que es todo lo que tiene que ver con gramática. Todo lo que tiene que estar bien escrito, bien hecho. ¿okay? Y el descriptivo es lo que utilizamos para hablar. Entonces, no quiere decir que esté mal hablado. No quiere decir que sea informal. Sino que es la forma que ustedes lo pueden decir al momento de hablar. Y no, no hay ningún problema. Le van a entender en inglés. Entonces, usted lo puede utilizar, sin, eh, lo puede utilizar en su trabajo. Lo puede utilizar en la oficina. Yo lo utilizo cuando doy clases en manera presencial con mis compañeros de trabajo, entonces no hay ningún problema. Entonces, la forma prescriptiva del inglés es la gramática, como la forma correcta, y la forma descriptiva es como lo hablamos. Entonces, algo esta... Así, ¿Cómo? Algo así he visto también, pero con el... y el... wanna. Wanna, exacto. Es lo mismo. The reduction of going to and reduction of want to. Exacto. Es lo mismo. Oh, es okay. lo mismo. Very, very good. Pero es para sonar más naturales. 
para hablar de forma más natural y que ya nos vayan entendiendo eh, American people, ¿verdad? las personas sí. americanas. Ok, entonces tenemos dos tareas para mañana. Listening and pronunciation. Okay. Pónganle atención al listening. Es bien importante que se saquen un 20 para, que, para ganarse ese 33%. ¿Ok? No. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Eh, en la misma plataforma este, vamos a ir contestando lo que vayamos escuchando. Yes. Eh, si se fijan acá, le voy a hacer una demostración de nuevo. Vamos a ver. Ok. We're gonna go back. Give me a second. Ok, we have the knowledge check here. ¿Cómo lo vamos a responder? Después que ustedes han leído ya la, la, la instrucción que Claudia leyó, ¿verdad? Pues ya se me puso lento el internet. Como ya son las 10 y 5, ya se, se puso la gana. Ok. <risa> Tenemos la instrucción que, leyó, que leyeron acá. Listen to the interview. What are these people going to do? Luego le va a dar clic acá y va a escuchar el audio. Como ya lo escuchamos todo. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with K Es lo mismo que van a escuchar ustedes. Cuando ya lo han escuchado muchas veces, las veces que sea necesario, ustedes van a ir acá. Yo ahorita le voy a dar así random a cualquiera. The gym. Michelle is going to the gym. Kevin is going to listen to the music. To music. Roberto is going to work at home. Jane is going to go to a party. Right? Si ya cuando les ha contestado le va a dar clic en Submit. Le da clic en Submit y como yo, eh, mire, ve, que tengo una suerte. Tengo 8% de 33. Entonces salí mal. Solo tengo una pregunta buena. Right? Pues eso es lo que no queremos con ustedes. Queremos que ustedes salgan bien y que escuchen bastantes veces el audio. Cuando usted ya le ha dado Submit y ya tiene sus respuestas, ya con lo que saque, tiene que darle Next y seguir con la siguiente actividad. ¿Ok? Okay. Okay. Teacher, You're in, the, yeah? in the lesson 1.5, ¿qué vamos a hacer? With the lesson 1.5, the only thing that you have to do is to practice. Vamos a practicar. Esta es para practicar el uso, como de, en vez de decir going to, vamos a decir gonna. Eso es todo. Okay. Pero no hay que escribir ninguna. No, no, no hay que tiene... escribir oración. No, no vamos a escribir, sino que en esta sí quiero que en uno se van a enfocar en el listening y en este en el speaking. Ya tienen las oraciones que crearon, ¿verdad? Oraciones, preguntas eh, negativas, positivas. Entonces, en esas lo que vamos a hacer es marcar, tal vez con un highlighter, con un marcador, agarramos un marcador y marcamos going to y eso es lo que vamos a hacer es practicar la pronunciación de gonna para sonar más natural. Entonces, mañana... Cuando ustedes me den sus ejemplos, siempre vamos a decir gone. ¿Ok? Nadie va a decir going to. Porque okay. todos ya hemos practicado gone. ¿Ok? Entonces no vamos a escribir nada para mañana. Porque ya tenemos okay. dos skills que necesito que se enfoquen. ¿Ok? Yes, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? No, teacher. ¿No? ¿No? No, teacher. No, teacher. Ok. Perfect. So it's, it, it was nice seeing you today, guys. I hope you have a beautiful night. Bye, rest and Thank practice you. tomorrow. Okay, you're Bye. welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye, 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 teacher.